for sure. All right, health matters now. The one topic that has had our phones in the newsroom ringing off the hook. Uh, we're talking about the hepatitis hysteria, and, and I think that's, uh, I'm not being dramatic to say that, too. No, a lot of people yeah. are very worried about it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of recent cases, we are joined now by Dr. Thomas Rushton, the infectious disease specialist at St. Mary's Medical Center, with an answer to a lot of the questions. First off, we're going to go over some of the symptoms. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've, we've done this before, right. but it never hurts to say them again. No, we, we need to sort of go back back up and, and get reestablished, yeah. right? So, so we're looking at, it, it'll feel like a very bad case of the flu. Mm -hmm. uh, there may be some nausea, vomiting, but you know, maybe some loose stool, probably not so much. Uh, you just don't feel healthy. You, you feel sick. You know something's not right. And if you look at the whites of your eyes or underneath your tongue, yeah, it may actually look a little yellow. Oh, okay, a little okay. jaundice. There. Exactly, okay. exactly. And that's actually a good sign. What it actually means is that the body is, uh, is responding to that infection mm -hmm. and trying to overcome it. And that inflammation is actually going to express itself as, uh, as, as jaundice. Mm -hmm. It's really, it may be a low grade fever by the way, but it's not a massive fever. Okay, so are the symptoms going to stick around for a while? It'll take about two weeks to kick in, and then it'll be probably a couple weeks, and, and fatigue is such a, uh, such a major part of this. You're going to need time to recover, no okay. question. What's the stuff we hear about it can take, the, it can sit dormant for 50 days? We've heard some people at the CDC say this, that uh, how, how is that even well, possible? That, 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 that means the, you know, they're the looking at the incubation period, okay? Mm -hmm. okay? And so when we look at a, at a viral process, you know, we're talking about a very, very small organism. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's subcellular in size. And what happens next is entirely dependent on what the body does in response to that. We, we want to think that we have an invasion, and that invasion is actually causing the symptoms. But it's actually our response to that invasion mm -hmm. that's going to... There's, there's a there good is the invasion right yeah, there. Right there. And some people are going to have a more robust uh, response than others. But it's, that, that it's the host response that's going to produce the symptoms. All right, so let's talk about transmitting this. because. Right. We've seen some some restaurants where it's popped up. That's right. Of course, and it, they're taking so many precautions exactly. now to make sure that this isn't spreading. Exactly. How, how can it spread though? Well, this is again the problem. If you've got a long incubation period, there are no signs of symptoms, but at some point you're going to start shedding it. And this is a gastrointestinal. In other words, we're looking at uh, at something that will be in our stool that then gets into other people's mouths. There's no nice way of putting the that. only. So the the best thing you can say right here is wash your hands. Well, well, we want everybody to wash their hands. That may be the ickest Dr. Ick thing that you have ever said. I don't know. What this thing about say? from hands to Chelsea. stool. That yeah, was that's pretty good. Yeah. That's a 4.2 right there out of wow, 5. Wow, yeah. I'm holding <laughs> the but other. it's something so simple, but it really can make a big if, difference. If you're, you know, if, you're, if you're an employee and you're only given so much time the bathroom and so on, we know that when there are, there are urgencies, uh, at a job, there are, there are shortcuts that one's going to take. And when we wash our hands, we're really talking about not even so much the soap, but, but lots of water. Mm -hmm. And some people say sing the happy birthday song and so on. I'm not sure I'm a great fan of that. But you really do need to take some time uh, to wash your hands. And, uh, Act and like they're dirty. That's exactly. The thing. Yes. Act like there's yeah. actually yeah. dirt on yes. them because you can't see that no, stuff. No, you're not going to see said. the viruses there, right? Yeah. I was telling someone the other day, I said hand sanitizer doesn't work for this, and they didn't believe me. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so well, again, these, these, the, the coating of the virus is such that, uh, you know, how well an alcohol rub is going to work is one issue. The other issue is that there's, if there's still material on your hands, uh, the alcohol isn't going to remove that. Okay. So you're not going to get sterile. Mm -hmm. Right, and remember that even if you've overcome the infection, you're going to shed this uh, for at least 30 days. So All you're right. perfectly healthy, but it's still transmittable. So we have about 20 seconds left. Yes. Vaccine yes. is a must. Well, if you're I, I, in I think that so. But you know, a thing. lot of my patients who have grown up with well water here, they've already been infected at age three, four, five. Uh -huh. They're immune. Not an issue. So if you uh -huh. think, if you've grown up with well water, I think one reasonable approach is ask your doctor to check for the total hepatitis A antibody. Mm -hmm. If that's positive, you're immune. Okay. There is no chronic infection with this, with this virus. Okay. It's a one and done. If you're not immune, then yes, you do need to get the hepatitis A vaccine. And I see no reason why 
anybody should be excluded from that. Okay. It's not dangerous to anybody. Okay. Just remember though, to complete the series for lifelong immunity, you need to get one at zero months and then at six months. It's not a one shot, it's a two shot series. Right. right. Or it won't work. Well, it'll work for the immediate purpose, but then six months from now, you still haven't developed immunity. So I you see. want to complete that process. Okay. okay. All Thanks, right. Doc. Well, thanks again Absolutely. for coming in. Always appreciate it.